Hello. Uh, hello and welcome again. Yeah, wait, hold on. Let me just check the sound. Sound check, 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 check. Yeah, okay, that should be okay. So this thing needs to be like really close. Oh, yeah, and I have my headphones on now. Doesn't matter. Okay, hello. Um, the video you're about to see is uh, me playing Minecraft. I'm doing a little bit of a. I mean, it's sort of typical, but that was the point. Like, I thought, um, hey, if I'm gonna start like a. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna like start a channel, but you know, if I'm gonna do a, a couple of videos, well, why not do Minecraft as well? Because it's sort of like the, you know, it's a typical thing to do. So uh, why not? Because I I really like Minecraft, so I thought I'm gonna I was gonna do a series on it. And so far, I've done like like ten-ish videos on it, but I haven't uploaded it uh, yet. So this is just gonna be the uploaded of that. So I hope you enjoy it. The only difference about this and other uh, Minecraft videos is it. So I'll be doing single player uh, with in survival mode, uh, which which others have done, but it'll be faster because I'm trying to be methodical and I'm trying to go slow and sort of like do a proper tutorial thing. But then it takes it takes really long. Like when when you watch it, it's so slow. So then I decided to sp to speed it up, yeah, just uh, via editing. So I hope it works out, and I hope you I hope you enjoy it. So this is Minecraft, just a little bit faster. Uh, series and uh, it, it's it's not that long, but I hope you I hope you enjoy it anyway. So thanks, and that's it. All right, we're recording now, and I've decided to keep the small screen because of the frame rate. I'm gonna be a trooper and play really small screen. I mean, you guys are gonna see it most likely on small as well. So I'm sorry, I'm not at the I'm not at the phase, you know, of doing it big screen, everything cool, HD, whatever. Uh, this is definitely like the starting phase, and I think that's what's the, the point of it. Oh, oops, I have to do the introduction. All right, welcome everybody. Whoa. Welcome everybody. This is Minecraft. If you don't know what Minecraft is by now, my name is Black Sheep, and I'm going to be doing a Minecraft Rite of Passage. Now, that sounds a little weird. If you haven't heard of this, it's because I made it up. Yeah, that's right. I have decided that because Minecraft is extremely popular, actually on YouTube, it's a massive, massive inspiration for so many YouTube videos. Wow, that's a really pretty sky. That's thanks to MC's Patcher, by the way. Let's just let's just clear that up. What am I using to make Minecraft look like this? It's MC Patcher plus Misa's resource pack. Um, if you really, uh, I can I can put a link in the description to to her page, and then you will get whatever you want. Because this looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, this is how I play uh, Minecraft, by the way. Just previously. So yes, this is my first time playing Minecraft. I actually started playing it uh, during beta, but I mean the beta lasted for a very long time, so that's not really saying something. But it's it's sort of saying something. Uh, I haven't made a YouTube video uh, like ever of Minecraft, and uh, then I decided that this is actually the right of passage. So this is what you're supposed to do. If you start doing uh, gaming YouTube, especially uh, especially gaming uh, videos, let's play videos. I mean, let's play videos actually pretty much started with Minecraft. And uh, let's not lie, man. Like for the, it, it started like it, it was Minecraft and YouTube all the way, man. This is one of the big reasons why Minecraft is so successful. And uh, and I just checked the wiki actually today to make sure of some facts because I, I I was wondering whether Microsoft actually bought Minecraft or or not. Um, and yes, they did actually buy Minecraft for 2.5 billion US dollars, um, according to uh, according to obviously Wikipedia. I didn't do any research beyond that, but let's be honest, who does, right? So uh, yeah, this is this is Minecraft. If you don't if you don't know, and I'm going to be doing a video about it, a let's play video, because this is like a rite of passage. I think by now it's really cool, because because uh, um, you know this is like the starting. This is the very this is the starting. This is the bare bones. This is like the bare bones. This is where you start doing let's play videos. If you're going to do let's play videos, you at least must do one Minecraft let's play. It's it's like a rite of passage. I decided this is definitely a rite of passage, and I mean I I really like this game. I think this game is absolutely awesome, and I'm really uh, I love the fact that it's changed so much. It's almost at version two. This is version one point eight point eight. Uh, as you know, at the time of me playing this, uh, it's changed a lot since you know since I uh, you know since I, I started in beta playing this game, and I played it a couple of times, and the various different impressions over the time, a uh, couple of different things. Yeah, this but pretty much this game is really cool. Like I. Uh, I really appreciate the work that Notch started. I mean, put it in and then, but you know, he he, he got more than enough credit for this game. Like he got all, oh, he got his, he got his cash, he got his wife actually after this. I mean, he got his fame, so he was pretty much set. So so he, he was well rewarded for doing this this, this piece of gaming, and um, you know, Marvel pretty much because because there's a big question like why is this game so awesome? If you don't know, okay, if you really don't know what Minecraft is, it's your very first time. It's basically a world made up of blocks. Right? Okay, so you're with me, right? So it represents the real world, but if the real world was made up of blocks, for example, dirt blocks, um, tree blocks, this is leaf blocks, this is a wood block of a tree, so... And then the, the major thing about mining and crafting, the Minecraft, is that you can mine, you can actually dig very, very deep, and uh, and deep, and like there's caves and stuff there, and uh, you can also craft, there's also crafting in the game, 
obviously I have to show everything because this has to be an official, uh, you know, let's play of Minecraft. I have to be very serious about it. It's really funny because, I mean, by now everybody knows what this game's about. But, okay, if you really don't, this is my right of passage. I'm going to shut up and do it properly. Um, and there's, there's like a semi-tech tree as far as uh, crafting is, uh, is concerned. And if you look at the bottom of my screen, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of rubbish down here. And you'll be wondering what all that stuff is. The most important thing that you should be concerned about is the heart bar. That's your life. That's how much life you have. And the bar to the right of that heart bar is your food bar. So you can consume food to keep the food bar full. Now, when I was back, when I was playing this game back in beta, there wasn't like a food bar. Okay, so it was much harder then. What's really cool about the food bar is basically it gives you life regeneration. If your if your health is full, then you then you life regen. If though, I, I'm not entirely sure if this is true, but I think it is. If your health bar is not full, you won't regenerate your life, and I think you'd actually lose health. I'm not even sure. I haven't I haven't successfully starved. I think maybe we can test that. Just you know, just because this is this is cool. It's my last play. I can do whatever I want, and. Uh, yeah, but uh, thank you, man. Welcome to all the people who's, who's going to join us. I'm just going to quickly check the sound if I'm talking too loud or, you know, if there's a couple of things that are too soft. Uh, I'll check. Hopefully everything's okay and it's not too loud or too soft. Uh, because I'm not using the best of equipment. I mean, that's why the screen is this small. Otherwise, the screen would be massive and it would be huge. Uh, we would be recording in HD and then everything would be nice and large. Anyway, but this is my right of passage. It's like, uh, uh, this, is, this should be my official first um, video. It's not, uh, uh, unfortunately. But um, I, I think, yeah, this is, this is going to be my second one if I upload one. So... Yes, I think we shall continue. So, first of all, you have to know that you have to pump in a lot of effort in this game. Oh yeah, oh yeah, sorry, um, I'll just have to continue. Just, man, I get distracted really quickly. Um, all of these items are like blocks, and this is food, this is trees that you can plant. There's so much stuff in this game, because it's like a creative slash survival mix genre. And that's one of, the, one of the big reasons why this game is, you know, even now, still sells like a ridiculous, you know, like a ridiculous amount of copies. And uh, it's, it has, it's, break, it's broken so many records, and I think it's... Uh, one of the third best selling games of all time. Yeah, and it is, yeah, so far, I mean, it hasn't stopped selling, so it's possibly, it's on its way to becoming the, the, the most successful game ever, like as far as money is concerned and how many units are sold. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason for that. And I keep updating the game and making it more interesting and keep adding more features. I mean, there's another realm that you can go to, like the Nether, and apparently there's even another one, even after that, that's added that I haven't gone to. That's called the, the End World, that you can create the Ender Portal and you can go through that. I mean, and, uh, you could go to the Nether when when the beta was still in here, but you couldn't. There was no end. There was like no end. There wasn't an Ender Dragon, and maybe that's what I should do because I have not killed the Ender Dragon yet, and I've not done everything. I haven't done potions because there's potions. I've done really little of the enchantment. I mean, that's this come, there's a few stuff that they added. But what I'm really looking forward to is actually the shield. I'm actually looking forward to crafting a shield and using a shield, which yeah, obviously wasn't in there. That's a, a pretty new thing, I think. And horses. I haven't done horses. Like you can get horses here and ride the horses and tame horses. I haven't tamed. Uh, it's like wolves, you can tame wolves even. There's, there's a crazy ton of stuff that you can do here. I mean, you can, you can even, uh, get yourself some, you know, some sheep and pigs and breed them and chickens and start like a farm and, uh, you can climb into boats and, you know, uh, swim or swim or, uh, you know, sail a boat. But what makes, what makes Minecraft unique is because this, this, this whole place is completely open and you can, it's procedurally generated. So what exists in this world, this current world, it's always randomly generated at the start. Is basically as far as I can see, does this world exist? Also for a, a certain number of blocks downwards. The more I move in that direction, the more the world will be created in that direction. The more I will move in that direction, the more the world will be created in that direction. Etc, etc, etc. So, so far, that's actually, as far as you can see, that is actually how far the world exists. The further you walk, the more of this world is generated and the larger this file becomes. Like, this world file becomes. It gets fleshed out the further you walk. So, what does that mean? That means that if you go into any direction, more world will be generated. And this is specifically important if you mine. If you start mining and there's caves and you keep going on, the cave systems that can be generated are absolutely massive. It's really crazy. It re represents real life actually very accurate. And of course, what's wonderful about the blocks is, I mean, come on, what child has not played with blocks? You know, even if there's like just stones around you, you can put a couple of stones, you know, up on one another and see how the blocks work. It's really easy, really simple, and really creative. And that, that gets, oh man, that's, there's, it opens up so many possibilities. There's some really crazy stuff that people have built in here, because there's a creative mode that you can just fly around and destroy all the blocks with one hit, and did summon whatever block you want, so it's purely creative. There's no uh, survival. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm playing survival. Okay, as you can see, my, um, my, my, uh, I'm not getting hungry. And yes, there are actually enemies in here. Most notably or notoriously, the, the creeper is in here. It's like a green creature that explodes if you get too close to it. That destroys blocks and just, you know, just attacks you and destroys your establishment and so forth. And it's become it's become pretty famous. Um, you know, the green creeper. That's the thing that you see on the front, actually, of this. No, you don't. No, you don't see it. I'm sorry. It's on. It's on the on the MC patcher. There you see the the face of the creeper. But the face of the creeper is pretty. It's pretty popular on a lot of merchandise. I even saw there was a mug, a coffee mug that's like square. It has the the the, the, the creeper's face on it, and it's 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 become pretty popular. And I would actually uh, like to get that mug. So, anyways, um, let me just go check the sound one last time until before I like really get dug in. Because listen, man, this this game takes time. So. Um, I think that's probably uh, another reason why the Let's Plays are, are, are successful, because once you've invested and you've watched a Let's Play of like two hours, the odds are that you're going to follow up for, with, with some more hours, because this game gets really, it gets like big. It starts with a bare bones, basic blocks, you don't really have anything, but you can climb the tech tree, and it, it gets really, you, you can get really into it. And that's not 
that's not touching multiplayer. I'm just doing it single player, obviously, uh, for 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 reasons. And be, yeah, just because it's less complicated, I have more control. And I prefer single player. I've tried playing on online and with servers, but it's just not my style. I've, I've never been a fan of uh, the whole big online server stuff, just because a lot of people get in the way of my of, of me having fun. It's just a uh, it's just a thing. Anyways, um, let me just go check the sound again before I continue. Okay, so it's it. Yes, finally. How's that? So now the sound is just, it's just up to me. How's the sound now? Ah, that's alright. Can I live with that? Maybe a little louder. Alright. Too loud. How about that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, how about that? Yeah. Alright, so I just started. I just started and I just spawned. Um, I'm gonna try and sort of help you get it, because, oh yeah, it's, I mean, it's my official thing, so, alright, so first you get here and you've got a lot of stuff, and you can, with your fist, you can pretty much break uh, your basic, your basic, um, couple of blocks that you need. Most importantly is the wood block. Now, the wood block is basically just a tree. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. It doesn't matter what you, what, what item you have in your hand, it still counts as, like, your fist, if you, if you hit something. And for now, I'm just gonna put off the, um, I'm gonna put off my, uh, the difficulty is now peaceful, just to introduce a couple of, uh, what the hell? Please tell me that was, like, not in-game. Okay, wow, man, that was like a really loud sound just now, okay. So you have to start off by just collecting a couple of these wood blocks. Which is very important. So you start off and, uh, to make sure you're not gonna die. Well, oh, alright, okay, I guess I have to make it, you know, how you're supposed to do it, so I'll go to options. Go to peaceful, normal, hard, yeah, I'll just do it on hard, okay. And you do, well, you, you need a couple of these. Man, just like, like five actually is enough. Then, you press E. Now, easy your crafting inventory, unless that's, that's me, yes, you can get custom skins as well, etc, etc. I'm not gonna go into that now. This is like your, your, your main inventory, you can put stuff here. Uh, let's just start. Apple, I recommend like putting your, your important things in here. Because your tool belt, anything that's in your tool belt, you will lose. But stuff in your backpack, I think you won't lose on death. I'm not entirely sure if that's changed, or, or whether I can't just remember and it's been such a long time, but... Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's focus. You take your out good, right? Right click, importantly for item management, right click split something in half. Like, see, splits it in half. And... That's that's uh, that's very really useful for for doing things, and uh, shift click is uh, no, is control click. Oh, oh yes, no, no, no. If you if you pick up a big one and you have it in your and you have it in your uh, your cursor, then right clicking drops one of it, like one, 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 one. That's right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. So this is a couple of the tricks that you need to that you need to know. All right, so from here you deposit into your crafting. Just that makes normal planks. So you can click here once, then it makes one. Then you can multiple click right here, one, eight, so forth. All right, so that's one. Two. Another uh, way to do it is to put it in here, and to actually shift, press hold, shift, and then press click. Then it makes the maximum amount. See? Instantly. And then it snaps to your, it stacks in here into your inventory. That's some cool stuff you really need to know, like, that's, that's really help a lot. Like, for example, if I'm gonna make some planks, uh, uh, your basic tool first, and then sticks. Sticks are, um, this on top of that. So you put your 12 there, right click, split it exactly in half, 6, and then you get 4 for each one. Then you shift click for get maximum sticks of 24. Okay. Cool, huh? Alright, and then you need to do your crafting table. Your crafting table is also one of your important things. So you have left click up here, right click, right click, right click, right click, left click. To deposit once again, you've made your crafting table. As soon as you click it there, it uses up the resources and creates your, your, um, the, the, whatever the recipe thing. Now I must, I must admit that, uh, look, I'll just suggest going to the, going to typing in Minecraft wiki crafting recipes. Because there's a, there's a lot of crafting recipes. So, uh, I'll, I'll show you the ones that I know, I mean. And then I'll go fetch other ones I don't know, but I play with the wiki every single time. Because just, I mean, I forget the stuff. I mean, I play other games, I forget. I'm not gonna memorize all of them. Some of them I know, but some of them I don't. So, this crafting table is like pretty much your, uh, your, your important thing. So I would suggest getting, go, go to, go to high ground. Like climbing up a tree or building like a basic fortification like I did here is a good idea. But climbing up a tree is also a really good idea. Just like in real life. <laughs> And then you right click there, and then you, you craft on, on top. So, yeah, you right click it. To open that, you right click. So now you have a, a 3 by 3 crafting window to make, this is like your minecrafting thing, and then you make all your stuff from here. If you want to make wood, right, if you want to make wood, wood tools, you, you do this. You right click, um, uh, you, you right click with sticks here, you put a stick there, and you right click here and here, and then you get a sword, right? But I don't want to do that. What I want, the only thing you actually craft of wood is only one thing, and that's your first pick, pickaxe. Like that. See, you see, that's two sticks, three of that, and then you left click here, it uses up the resources, and gives you that. So now you have this piece of equipment. This will only, this is the only wood tool you'll ever need. And all you need it for is to, to dig stone. So you look around for stone. So there's stone. I mean, spotted stone. So now I go down there and I go get myself some stone. Here's stone. I'm gonna need to dig, uh, dig some stone. There. See? Cobblestone. There we go. Okay. At least I think it's cobblestone. Yes, it's cobblestone. Game has changed a bit. I don't wanna forget. Okay, so this is cobblestone. Stone, stone is very useful to craft your most basic, of your most basic. This is a, uh, that is coal. That's also pretty important. Am I breaking it or am I actually getting coal? I hope, yeah, I'm getting coal, okay. Because if you break some, some objects with, for example, if you, if you use your fist and you break those, and you break those, which you can, it'll just take a long time, then the, the, the coal will drop it, the coal will be destroyed, I think. It won't be, you won't be able to collect it. And that's very important with, like, for example, diamonds. If you mine it with, like, a wood, a wood pickaxe, like I'm doing now, the, the diamond will be lost. 
You need to do it with steel. Or with stone. If you use stone. I don't think... Yeah. I don't even think you can mine it without steel. I think you need a steel pickaxe. Anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, this is... It's been a while. It's been a while. I, I admit. I'm sorry. But okay, like, now you have like 14 cobblestone. That's more than enough. So climb up back again to your little safe place. At, at night, the zombies spawn. There, yeah, there's, there's the zombies. The creepers spawn. Um, I think the creepers spawn at night as well. Where, where there is not light, the mobs will spawn. Then you right click on here. And then you craft your, your important things like you can see here. So I click that up. You put up that here. Which includes your, your first sword. Dun dun! Yay! So then you get your sword and you put it in here. You can even make like a backup sword. I'd, I'd recommend like making backups of this stuff. So we make a pickaxe. We won't really use this ever again, so there's no real point. But you can just keep it in here for as backup. The stick, you can make like another pickaxe. Put it in here and then you can make a, maybe another sword. There we go. And just keep it in, store it in here for, for backup. And then you need you also need some uh, okay we're out of sticks now but you can make sticks here in as well just some planks on top of more planks will make you sticks one gives you a button but that's going into a whole new area of Minecraft which is like mechanics there are actually mechanics in this game They're like uh, um active mechanics like switches buttons stuff like that I, th I thought maybe I, if I could make a drawbridge that would be awesome because I've never actually managed to do that which is quite sad actually but uh, the survival aspect is pretty interesting already so and then I've just made a torch if you've realized I made a torch like that I uh, put. I put a stick and then some coal on top of it and then you get a torch. Now these are one of the, uh, they're the infamous Minecraft torches that burn forever. Using very specific Minecraft technology that no one knows about. Uh, I don't know how, like, uh, can I put, yeah, okay, you can put torches not on leaves that I've just discovered. You can't put torches on everything. You right click to place a torch. You can wield the torch and then you can, uh, then you can right click to place a torch like this. Uh, like on a dirt block you can place it or you can place it. You can place it on the side of something as you see with a crafting table. I can place it like on the side of something, on top of the something or on, on another side of the something. So this is basically to, uh, to ward off mob, mobs from spawning. You place it in an area, it lights up that area, uh, the enemies can't really spawn here now. And it's necessary for, like, uh, for light is necessary for plant growth and for like animals like sheep and stuff to spawn. They need like light and grass. Okay, so I'm gonna put up another one here. I'm just gonna light the general area up like this. I'm just gonna light it up like this. So this also helps you you know, if you're like semi-lost and you look like, okay, where's the, you know, where's the light out here? So, so that helps. And now you'll see that I'm a little bit hungry. So what, what am I going to do now? Okay, I'm gonna, I don't want to, don't want to stop. That is a, that is a spider. They can climb. That's one of the big things about the spider. They can climb. So I'm just going to climb up here back to my, my forest, semi-forest tree house thing. And I'm going to get myself some food. So food you need to cook and you need a furnace for that. And for that you need nine cobblestone. So I don't have that, but I will go and be brave. And venture out towards my... Let's put some torches here to light my way, in case I'm really forgetful and I forget where it's up there. You, 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 your, your sense of direction will be tested in this game. It will be. It, it seriously will be. And, uh, okay, so I'll just need some more. See, see the, 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 the higher tech um, pickaxe is, is mining much faster, as you can see. That's, that's a big thing. So we're just going to collect some more of this, because normal stone is actually very useful. Um, yeah, just collect some of that. Now, one of the big things, my very first problem, I remember when I played my very first game, is I did not get, I did not get the coal. Like, I couldn't find coal, I just couldn't find it. It's actually the most common resource material that spawns, and uh, you'll be wise to actually obtain, a, like, a couple of it. Not too much, don't mind every single one, because eventually you're just gonna have too much. But, uh, but that's just, you know, that's eventually. For now, you can, you can harvest a little, and then that's it. Okay, see, that's a cave. Okay, before I go into the caves, okay, here's a, there's a pig. Let's slay the pig with my sword. To obtain some meat. It's, I need pork chop. So that just gives a pork chop. But it's uncooked. Okay, so now I fell down. But don't worry, I still have my fist. I can dig through and then hop, 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 hop. So that's if you if you fell down. I'd recommend you dig your way back to your main path. See, this is my main path here. Oh, oh the dreaded creeper has been spotted. I will wield my sword. There he is. There he is. Okay, so these things explode. So, you see, like that. And then you reverse. And then, okay, they explode. So if they don't and you successfully kill them, then uh, you have, uh, I think uh, they will always drop gunpowder. And then gunpowder you can use for TNT, which uh, which is cool, but it's, it's it's a little dangerous to use. Oh, I've also not crafted an axe. Oh dear, there's another one. I'll use my, my sword. And then just reverse. Just look at them and reverse. And as you can see, their, their damage is quite high. Like, the, the, the odds that they'll kill you is, is high. Oof, man. This game is actually quite nerve-wracking. Okay, so, fortunately, the... the the game lagged out for the uh, for the creeper, so that gave him a gap to attack me. But he has opened some resources for me. I'll collect that and uh, ignore the other stuff, and I will dig my way back up to my main platform. So here, height is height is a really good idea. If you don't have a tree, then just just dig blocks and then build straight up. Okay, I'll, I'll show you that now. Okay, the next big thing before I die of starvation, yeah, we'll just grab, build like a nine or like that. 
mine in the middle, and then you get your your magical furnace. The magical furnace is very magical. It also uses Minecraft technology. It can uh, it can cook and also smelt. Like it's a very very useful uh, tool. Uh, so it can cook your. See, there we go. So we put in raw mutton here, and then we'll we'll have to add flames. So things that burn are like planks, burn but only a little bit. Sticks burn, even lace, and then big oak blocks can also be used as fuel uh, to cook whatever. But you can see that how much f uh, flame power you have left there, and you can see it's, it's not it's not so much. And oh, oh no, the cooking oh and the cooking actually recedes. But fortunately, we collect a lot. If you just want to you, you want to just put one in at a time. And how do you do that? You left click and you just right click once to drop one coal. So you don't because you don't want to over invest flames power and then not get something out of it. So then you quickly put that up there again to get your. And if you eat this, this gives you a uh, I think four plus four. Man, meat, meat back. Okay, and I don't think the game is paused. The game, yeah, the game is not paused when you go into go into this area. So you have to be aware of your surroundings when you use uh, your crafting table, your chests, and your uh, your furnace. Okay, so here come the you come the cooked pork chops. They look delicious, man. I'm telling you, man. Sometimes this game, for example, look at that. Boom. Oh yeah, max out or food, max food. Okay, so these give food. They're they're big. Your apple, you can also eat that for to give you some uh, boost. Um, let's go back to make some more sticks. Let's make. Let's take uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's make five of those and five of those. One, two, three, four, five, and that'll make you four torches. Put that shift click, and then you get twenty. Right, right, left click, right click. Oops, left click. Um, yeah, split it. So you, I get ten here and ten back up here. The idea of the first splitting is as if you die, then you keep that, and then that drops. So as far as I can remember, maybe in hard it's a little different, or maybe there's special like settings. I can't remember. I really actually can't remember. That's my fault. So um. If you don't have charcoal, right? Because you know, now I'm lucky, you, you got charcoal. If you don't have charcoal, uh, which is actually a big deal. Okay, there's some music. You can, uh, or if you don't have coal, you can make charcoal. This I did not know. And this is a huge thing. Okay, let me get some axe. Let me get an axe first. An axe you build like this. That's how you build an axe. Three over there, two sticks there, left click. So I get one in here and make one back up. There we go, okay. Yeah, we go, here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some more wood. I'm gonna get some, oh yeah, that's... I just earned an achievement. Yes, that's my name. Ping, ping, ping. Okay. Uh, okay, excellent. I think I just, I think I made a mistake. I think I just dug through. Oh crap! Yes, I did make a big mistake. Now, oh dear. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, this is something that you have to know about building tree houses. You need wood. Like the leaves need to be attached to wood. If they're not attached to wood, they will disappear. Oh snap! Okay, so yeah, I put a piece of wood in there. I think that should be okay. Because they can be, they can be attached to it. But if they, if I don't know, there's some sort of sea, for example, there. It starts falling apart. But I think because I put wood in there, I think it'll be okay now. Because otherwise, this whole thing will fall apart if you don't have wood here. Building a treehouse, you need wood, like one wood, and then you can connect the leaves to, towards another. But at some point, a leaf block must be connected to a wood block. Okay, that's some a little bit of advanced stuff you didn't know. And, whoops, yeah. Let me just put in that there. Oh, dear, no. Is it falling apart? No, it doesn't fall apart. We'll put a wood here. Oh, no. Oh, dear. It has been ruined. I've destroyed my... Or is it too late? Because there has to be like a seed. Oh, there has to be like a tree. It has to still be like a tree. In inverted commas. It has to be like a tree still. So I don't know. I think that'll stop it from falling apart. I think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they changed it or... Hopefully they didn't. Because otherwise this whole... My old tree house will collapse now. Ooh. Okay, sorry. Jeez, man. That totally ruined the mood. Okay. Um... This is to, okay, to make charcoal. To make charcoal, unfortunately, you need to craft one of these first, right? You'll have to make a furnace first. But... But, 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 but. The good news is that you can burn wood... Right? Like that. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's put in two there and nine. Then actually you can make charcoal. Which works exactly like coal. You can make torches out of that, you can use it as fuel. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. See, and it's, and it's one for one, unfortunately. It's quite, uh, it's quite pricey to make. Because the game wants to encourage you to collect coal instead of, you know, instead of getting it this way and get scared of making charcoal. But, I mean, if you really can't find coal, I really couldn't. I was, like, really stuck. Or let's say you want to fortify your position before you want to head out to doing mining, which is a good, which is a good thing. This is definitely the way to go. Is to try and make charcoal first with your, with your first, you know, with your. Oh dear, is this thing like? Ah, oh, it's in, it's, the, it's in the heavens now. Oh dear. <laughs> Oops, I. Yeah, that's that's me making a mistake. Anyways, that's all right. I guess that's part of the whole, the whole process. Um, nah, I think that looks kind of cool. Anyway, you must not destroy. If you if you if you cut uh, cut down a tree, don't destroy all the the very last wood. Um, that, that represents it as a tree. Don't do that, otherwise the, the leaves will start falling. Um, they can be attached to other leaves, but then that leaves must be also attached to the tree. So at some point it must be attached to the tree. tree stop. I don't know if this wood actually stops it from falling. I think so. Hopefully it does. Um, we'll see, we'll see now, we'll see now. Um, what else is there? Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, okay, we survived the night. What you want to do second is your bed. So first you get your some of your basic tools, like a stone sword, a stone pick, a torch, a stone axe, 
you get your crafting table, you get your furnace, then you're then you're pretty much set up, man. Then then your bed. The next most important thing is your bed. Before you start building anything, you need you need like you need these basics. They're like the survival basics. So I think I was lucky enough to get no two wool. Yes, I need one more wool. This is very important because this means if you can craft a bed, then it sets your your uh, spawn point. So if you die, you go back to that point, and it's very important. So I think I saw some stuff over there. Let's go. Let's go and explore. Is that a sheep I spy over there? Let's go check it out. And you can you can sprint by pressing double double forward forward forward. Oh yeah, here we go. This is a this is a sheep. Yes, that's the one we wanted. And just because we're here, we can hunt some more some more animals. This is this is basically Minecraft hunting. It's not that complicated. And uh, you can, those are flowers, you can pick that up and you can make dye out of that. And I mean, the dyes even get also very quite complicated. Oh, that's a cute small one. Ah, uh, let's not kill that one. We can, we can get the sheep, yeah, the, the sheep, we, we'll need those, we'll need those wolves. Unfortunately, like, for now, um, and that one's stuck, let's help it. Okay. okay, so if you're lost, right, like I am now, um, I think my base is back there, but if you're, if you're lost, one of the things you can do, because you get, yeah, you get, you get pretty lost quite easily. One of the things you can do is just dig dirt, or, yeah, because that's a pretty easy thing to get. And it doesn't take that much, and then you store up some, like, one, two, three, you try and get height, you know, just like in real life, you try and get height, and then you can see better from a vantage point, because you can't really see from down here, and there's trees in the way, and so forth, but how many dirt does I have now? I have 64, okay, that's, okay, that's the max stack limit for a block as well, so, anyway, let's, let's go for that, or at least for dirt, this is for dirt, I think cobblestone you can do 240, or 250, and then you do this, you point straight down, jump, right click, 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 jump, right click. Preferably close to something that you can jump off of or jump close to or water because you do take falling damage. But as you can see now I've jumped up, I can see that over there is where I need to go. Then you can just dig it down if you have to also. But that's like a that's a useful way of of, um, of uh, finding your place. I call these beacons. I call them beacons. You like make it nice and high. Like this. Or even higher, like this. And then you place a torch on its side and then And then you don't die. Okay, yeah, this 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 was not very well thought out. The, the idea is to, to, to climb up high and then, and then build like, uh, put up a couple of torches so that when you walk through the land, you can actually look up and you can see these beacons. So that's a, a good way of, uh, you know, of, of building your way around this whole maze because this, this world gets very confusing. And that's just like above world. Fortunately, you can do that. Below world, there's a couple of tricks, but they're, they're few. <laughs> so, okay, if you want to just do a basic one and then move to the side. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is, this is another trick, but um, um, if you want to build, if you want to build, but you will use only one block, so you press shift to walk and then you can't walk off of a block. You press shift, you reverse, and then you aim towards that side, right click, then you can build there, or to that side, and you can build there. Now this, I'm sure other people know about by now, Jeez, man. Like, if I'm the only one that can do this, that's, there's something really big, there's a, there's a big problem with this. Okay, so this is, you basically moonwalk and place this stuff. And I'm really awesome, or everybody else is really stupid. But come on, people have, must have figured out. So this, this is another uh, uh, way how you can get around this, um, this, this getting lost business, is you call it sky highways. This is a sky highway. It's just a, it's just a pathway like higher than above, the higher than ground level, and then you walk there, walk there, walk there, and this is where there are trees, if there aren't any trees and it's like in a desert, well, then it's a little bit harder obviously, but uh, you get the same idea, that it's, you, 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 you mine sand and you do exactly the same thing, you build like a semi uh, highway um, of, of blocks, and then again, just shift, that's okay, if you want to, yeah. mind our shift, reverse, aim to that, and then you build it like that, there we go, okay. No man, I, I've played this game with my friends, I'm trying to think if I'm, I'm definitely not the first one to figure that out, my friends also get it man, come on. Yeah, okay, so, but I mean, if this is your first time playing Minecraft, then, then it's pretty something significant, so then I, like, I can still feel significant. I can still feel cool, like as if I'm the one who figured it out. Okay, so here we go. Okay, shift, reverse, place, 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 place. It's a little slow, I'm, I mean, but it's really, it's a really useful way of getting around, because now I have a sky highway that goes there, a sky highway that comes here. Like down here, okay, there, there, da, bam, bam, bam. So you get the idea. All right, so let's let's make a bed and let's put it up here. Why so high? Well, just because there's a lot of things that attack you, and height is like one of the one of the best one of the best things. Okay, but we need our crafting table. We need our crafting table, so we'll go there. Mine one like that. I'll put that, that, and we'll, and we'll, just, we'll go there. Oops, and I'm out of third blocks, but at least I can bridge the gap. With my reach, so I need planks. I think I need planks, yeah. So you do that, shift click, four planks, one, two, three planks, and then one, two, three wool on top of that, and that makes your lovely creeper themed bed, Minecraft bed. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Can I put it on leaves? No, I can definitely put it here though. What? This is ridiculous. Why can't I place it? Maybe they don't want me to build it in the, in the sky. Okay, well, oh, don't worry. Let's just make some more space. There we go. Okay, so you can also sleep at night to make it day. Right, if you're outside, this is a really good idea, especially if you're playing survival. It just makes it far easier, like, look at this. Okay, so now my, my checkpoint has been reset to this position. 
right? That is important because that means I'm not afraid of really dying now because if I die, I just come back here. That is uh, that is that is quite quite important. And so I'm I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that I'm making like a tree themed slash leaf slash dirt themed house. And for that, I'm seeing that dirt will be more easily to obtain because later on, if I get some steel, then I can make shears. And with shears, I can actually uh, harvest these blocks instead of just destroying them. I can harvest leaf blocks and then put, put them in place and like dirt blocks. But I can't do that right now. So for now, I'll just make another very useful tool. It's called the shovel. Two sticks up and topped up with a, with a stone shovel. So that's one. And then you can make another one. Like that. I make them one at a time just to make sure that I don't screw up anything and I don't make a mistake. Because if you just play stuff and you shift click, then it uses up like all the resources and you, you can make a mistake and you build something that you didn't want. So I just I'm just extra careful when I'm when I'm making tools. All right. So the, the shovel makes digging easier. Well, just like in real life. See, it basically disappears. Look at that man. And yes, the grass does spread. Like as you can see, this this is dirt without its grass, and uh, this is dirt with its grass. It needs light, and then you put the light, and then the grass spreads from these grass blocks to this. And it can also spread up. No, 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 no. Making like a little entrenchment here. It's a good, it's a, it's a good, uh, um, it's a good practice to be very methodical in, in your mine Minecraftian world or universe. Um, the more, the more of a method and a system you have, the you know, the better and the more efficient and the more neat your place will look, whatever you're building will look, and uh, the better, the better off overall you're, you're going to enjoy yourself. Which if you have, like I said, for example, you can see here, that looks much neater if I've just done it, it's like all sort of random. It's just, it's a small thing, but it plays a role. It, it definitely, it, it plays a role. Uh, I think about it as conquering the unneatness of the, of the wilderness and making it more neat. And that's a, that's a, that's a big, uh, it's a, it's a big feature of Minecraft, which you will miss if you, you know, if you don't really have an idea, if you don't really, you're not really interested. Now, this isn't really a creative tutorial, but uh, it's a sort of one, because it's a let's play. So, right, we're playing on survival, so let's, let's complete this. In the, in the words that I just said, let me, let me put my money where my mouth is, or my blocks where I said they should be. There we go. Look at that, look at that, come on. Yes, you, you, you have quite a large, you have quite a large reach. Like, you can place blocks pretty, pretty far away, because I have to cover up here. So, a lot of, a lot of Minecraft is like this, just building something, releasing your creative, your inner creative potential, and, um, yeah, oh my word, these things are in the air. Oh dear! So see, that is very unneat. So you would want to you want you would want to change that, and you would want to uh, bring about more order later. But for now, I'll I'll just put this this base this base here, and then um, I'm not going to touch that area just yet. I'm going to try and extend the tech ladder tree a little bit more. Let's put some blocks here, like that, and then you can you can up here, yeah. So yes, yeah, saying uh, talking a little bit about the, more about the um, the whole OC, uh, the OCD business. Like the obsessive compulsive part of uh, Minecraft, you can get very compulsive, you know, like obsessive compulsive with this game because it's so, it's so, uh, you know, everything is, everything's in blocks, uh, everything's like perfectly, you know, your block sized. So, so, you, so you can make a, you, know, you can you can make it very neat and, and you can make it very 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 precise. And I think that adds to the presentation. For example, this looks a lot better. You see, like my bed is up there. I'll put the, I'll give this poor furnace a place to, a place to stay. So I'll end up putting up more blocks, but that's okay. We'll just do that anyway. I'm filling in, it makes it, uh, it. It's a big part of Minecraft. If you don't, if you don't like that sort of like creative thing, then well, maybe Minecraft's a good place to start. You know, just to get an idea. Because I mean, look, it can't be easier than this. Break a block, put a block. Break a block, place a block. I mean, that that's very simple. And that's another uh, a key feature of this game is that it's accessible to kids. This is very kid friendly. You know, without you know getting, of course, and I'm not going to into like. Uh, you know, mods trying to make uh, Minecraft as scary as possible. Because there's a massive mod community as well. If, you, if you're getting bored of, of what you see here and what the features are available, um, when when I was when I was really into Minecraft when it just got out and I played a lot of beta, then I went into the mod modding community a lot to just check out the different stuff. And there's a lot there, and I'm, I'm sure that they've really they've really you know evolved uh, over time as well. Because more attention is you know is going towards Minecraft. So if you make a mod, what are you going to make a mod for? For which game? Well, Minecraft. So, uh, so the modders are, you know, very involved. The community is very involved. There's a massive Minecraft community. So, if you're playing this game, you're definitely not alone. That's a, that's a also, also a big feature of any really good game is that there's, there's going to need to be that community. And in many games, that's, you know, all they have. You know, that, that they just have this driving community behind it, and, and Minecraft definitely has that. So, see how neat this looks like? Oh, that looks nice, right? But it doesn't look ideal. We would like to put in stairs. I would like to put in some stairs. So, how do you do stairs? Stairs are a couple of ways. You can either put in slabs or you can put in well actual stairs. So actual stairs are made like this. You can't make it out of dirt, which is unfortunate. But again, like I said, I, there's, there's mods for that. If I can remember well, it's like like that. Yeah, which gives you some stairs. Four stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you get four stairs. Okay, well, that's not a lot. That's a little cheap. 
But, I mean, cobblestone is pretty plentiful in this game, so you shouldn't feel too... too bad. Now we put it there, and then climb up like that. Yeah, there's occasional music, but I don't know what's going on with Minecraft's music. It's like, it's so damn rare. Just like, occasionally, let's... Hey, what the... Oh, did you see that? Oh, look at me. Okay, if, you, if, that, if that was placed wrong, you take your stone pickaxe and you break it, and you pick it up again, and then... You place it properly, and then you can walk up here. See, so instead of having to jump everywhere, you can walk up smoothly like that. That's an, it's, a, it's another interesting feature that I enjoy that they put in. So that's one way to make stairs, obviously. And then there's the other one, which is slabs, but I'm going to need some more stone pickaxes. Okay, but I'm going to end that there because I have other stuff to do, actually. Um, unfortunately, if you're really enjoying this. If you're not enjoying this, then fortunately I have other things to do. So, so I'm going to leave you there, I'm sorry. But you can you get a pretty general idea of what's, what's going on with Minecraft. And then in the next episode, I'll probably establish this. I'll build a little bit bigger on my house. Uh, or, well, house. We'll call it our house. And then, um, and then we'll mine a little bit for steel. And we'll go through the cave systems a little. Because that's where another big part of Minecraft. Which is especially my favorite. Okay, thank you anyway. Uh, this was Black Sheep with Minecraft. Uh, doing my Let's Play Rite of Passage. Thank you, man. And uh, for the people who joined me. And uh, again, this is, um, if you want to know how this how, how this look is achieved, it's Mis Misa's uh, resource pack. This is realistic resource pack and MC Minecraft patcher. Combine those and you get this. And obviously with the stock Minecraft as well. Thanks anyway, guys. So, cheers. I hope you enjoyed it.